Terminators, welcome back to our channel. Hello. Hi. We have a special guest with us today. Her That's name. That's me. Who are you? Alexis. And Alexis, how old are you? Six. You're six. And what grade are you in? First. First grade. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. 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 So anyway, as I promised you in the last episode, Alexis is with us today. Hopefully we can do this without a bunch of outtakes. I think she's a little bit older than she was the last the time last she was time. on here. So I think we'll do all right. Right, Lexi? Yes. 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 So anyway, so what episode is this? 40. 40. Episode 40. So welcome, 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 welcome. Um, we are a family that lives right outside of Dallas, Texas, or Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. We moved a little bit further west. My name is Yolanda. I'm Jordan. And, and I'm Alexis. And I have another son named Dante, and, I, and we live with my husband of 20 plus years out here in a little bit of a rural area, right, Jordan? So anyway, welcome. I know we've got a couple of new uh, subscribers with us today so anyway thank you for showing up and what should they do alexis if they like the video they should what uh subscribe subscribe you heard it from <laughs> you heard it from her subscribe so anyway let's go ahead and get started on this episode um hopefully it won't be too too long hopefully you had a nice holiday what kind of holiday what was yesterday Halloween. Halloween. And what did you go as? A mermaid. Did you have fun? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Did you, what did you get? A lot of candy. Candy. And you weren't even scared this time, were you? No. 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 Good. I yes. I'm scared of the creepy decorations. The creepy decorations. You got a hair on your nose. <laughs> uh. Anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So as usual, let's start off with our Yarnable subscription from Yarnable. 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 Yarnable from Yarnable. Hip, Hypnotic Yarns. Hypnotic the, Yarns. Hypnotic. Hypnotic Yarns. Uh, the, the, the dyer behind Hypnotic Yarns is Cheryl, and she just uh, announced a little bit of great news for herself. She is now becoming a full-time dyer. So you guys expect some exciting things from her in the future. So that is exciting for me too, because like I said, I'm a big fan of her work. I'm also an ambassador to the Yarnable subscription, which opens today. So you guys, if you have not, go ahead and sign up for her Yarnable subscription. She'll let you know um, if you can get in and that way you can at least see if there's something you want to purchase for the next month. What I love about her subscription is you can you can opt in or opt out and you can also do sneak previews on the yarn that she's going to put out for the month. And if that's not your flavor, then let's skip it for that month. Yeah, flavor. Comment down below what you were for Halloween. Okay, totally just randomness, but okay, yes. This is the way this is going to go. <laughs> you were saving that up, Alexis. <laughs> she was saving that up. Okay, so anyway, so her subscriptions start around $26.99 a month. There's certain things that uh, you can do with, within that subscription, but if you are a first-time subscriber or thinking about subscribing, you get a $5 off coupon if you use the code what, Jordan? Oh, which one is this? Oh dear. Happy. It was either that or Happy 20. Happy. Which one was Happy 20? Happy 20 was Knit Crate. And we don't have Knit Crate uh, this month. There's something going on with my ambassador program. So I've actually looked into that. So hopefully we'll be able to showcase some more of those in the future. So let's see. So last month you guys saw the Hypnotic Yarn uh, colorway, which was Seance. Um, she just shipped out November, so I do not have that to show for you guys today, but go ahead and head over to her website. Um, I'll have that information below for you. Is this really already starting? Okay, so these two, they love each other to death. They are very much alike, but when they get together, they fight like cats and dogs. So anyway, let's, 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 let's move along. Shall we? Yes. All right. So with that being said, Jordan, what is the question of the day? Who is your biggest supporter of your knitting? So who is your biggest supporter of your knitting? For me, 
It is my family. They love when I knit for them. Right, Alexis? What did I just give you recently? A pair of what? Socks. In what Socks. color? Pink. Because pink is what? My favorite color. Pink Even is... purple, silver, and gold. Okay, okay. purple, <laughs> silver, and gold. So anyway, yeah, so yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, who supports you the most in your knitting? Is it some a family member? Is it some of your friends? I kind of want to know who, who gives you the biggest support. Okay, so with that being said, last, last episode, I asked you guys to send me some new podcasters that um, you guys have been watching because I'm, I had just gotten back into watching podcasting after being gone for a little while. And unanimously, you guys gave me some great, great podcasts. But I will tell you, one of my favorite new podcasts that were was that came up a lot from you guys is the Bur the Bearded Pearl. Did I say that right? Yeah, the Bearded, bearded Pearl, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> with Caleb and Justin. They are such a great couple, and I literally binge watched everything that they had to to that they had on um, their uh, their channel and i was very 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 impressed so shout out to the bearded pearl thank you for entertaining me through most of my mid knitting for the last three weeks i totally appreciate it so you guys if you have not go ahead and check them out because they are fantastic and if you want to please go back and check out all of the comments from the last episode so you can see all of the suggestions that others put down in regards to a bunch of other podcasts I they I've watched other podcasts but I was just giving them a shout out today because like I said they were one of my favorites okay so before we start with my finished objects because I do have some and my whips Let's talk about what's going on, Jordan, for us um, this month or this month and next month. The twelve days of Christmas, Cal. The twelve days of Christmas, Cal. The twelve days of Christmas, Cal. You gonna sing a Christmas song for us to get us into the mood? Um, I'm a little shy to not sing. You gonna sing Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. Hmm? Jingle Bells. You don't sing Jingle Bells? Mm, no. They can't see you. <laughs> you know that, right? It's just the camera. Sing us a, sing us a little bit of Jingle Bells. What? Come on. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle on the way. Um, oh, what fun it is to ride <laughs> in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! hey. Okay, yay! <laughs> so, you guys, as you know, every year we do the 12 days of Christmas cow and this year is no different even though this 2020 has been very, very challenging. We said we're going to end the year on a positive note. So if you have not, please head over to the Ravelry page and see the uh, directions for this cow. Like I said, we do it every year and we're going to give out 12 proud prizes starting on December the 14th and go all the way to Christmas Day. So each one of you are guaranteed to win one skein each for each single day. So there are gonna be 12 skeins of yarn given out during this, plus a myriad of other prizes, etc. So if you are a maker out there and you want to donate to the cow, please get in touch with me. And yes, we can do that. So anyway, so here are the rules of the cow. You can enter a whip that started in October because I'm all about helping you guys get your stuff done and your presents knitted or crocheted for your family and friends. So whips are allowed if they were started in October. And this cow goes through to December the 13th at midnight. And on December the 14th, we will start drawing prizes. So I have opened up a thread in Ravelry so that you can post your finished objects only one one post per only one post per person this year and if you're having trouble with Ravelry and their new format you can of course post your pictures on Instagram using the hashtag 12 doc cal 20 right Jordan 12 doc 12 doc did I forget anything why are you jumping around <laughs> hashtag means nothing yes it does hashtag. you don't know anything about social media Damn. Do you? What's social media? <laughs> hmm? I'm silent. You're silent. Hmm. Is, that, is that all that it takes? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, like I said, 
please we, we love to do this cal every single year to give back to our subscribers and our supporters so please 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 enter your um finished object so you Bones. are eligible for a prize right jordan jordan right alexis yes yes, yes. okay <laughs> so let's move on to finished objects i do have a couple uh, some of them were plan planned, some of them were not planned. Oh, you know what? Let me grab some sock blockers. Okay, so we are back and the first finished object that we're going to show you are <laughs> the finalized. Can you see it, Lexi? Okay, there we go. I'm going to show them if I close my eye. Can you guys see that, Jordan? Okay, so these are these are a little blown out by the light. They're a little bit darker in color than you're than you're seeing. But these are Jordan socks that were once four at a time socks that I transferred to a two at a time sock because I just did not enjoy the four at a time process. So, Alexis, it's focusing on your face. So put it above the there you go. There we go, hide behind the sock. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, with this being said, this yarn is by Chicken Coop Jordan. This Chicken yarn King. is by Chicken Coop Dye Works in the colorway Germinate. And it was picked out by Jordan at one of the DFW Fiber Fest. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> of course, these sock blockers are not big enough for his big size 12 feet, but um, this here I did on a 68 uh, stitch count and I also did uh, 20 ribs, uh, 20 rolls, I'm sorry, of one by one ribbing and I used a US size 2.25. One, one, uh, Stop that Jordan. Quit! <laughs> 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 Anyway, I'm just going to sit back here because they're going to just be just... Look like nature socks. Do you think they look like nature socks? Do you like the color? Yeah. Because it's green. And... Anyway, so I did the uh, Flegal Hill like I always do. And this time, um, I wanted to show... Um, I had a few viewers that wanted to see a color change on the back of the socks for the Flegal. Because of the way that it is, the Flegal Hill is knit. You knit the instep and the the heel at the same time, so a true a true uh, color change is not possible. But when you're knitting the back and forth on the sock, that's when you can do the color change, and it just adds a little bit of color to the back of the heel. And if I remember, I'll insert some pictures with Jordan Ooh. showing them on the back of his feet, so you can kind of get a true idea of that. Um, anyway, like I said, a wonderful colorway. I love Carol's. Um, colorways and I always support her when I see her at DFW Fiber Fest and I'm also um, getting her uh, Kwanzaa her Kwanzaa uh, this year uh, she did it last year and I showed that to you guys at the end of the year so I was happy 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 to be able to purchase that this year and I haven't made a whole lot of purchases so the fact that I, I purchased hers tells you a lot so anyway so I think that's all on these socks and Jordan has another Jordan has another pair of socks that he can wear. Yes, I do. Yeah, this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Okay, so. So. Let's move on. So I only so <laughs> you guys know that I am on a mission for to do a washcloth each month, but I did not, and I repeat, I did not knit. I only knitted one this this month. Ooh, that bright light. This is. <laughs> Is the wrong yeah this is the right side so here can't hide her face here just put the socks up y'all get behind the socks you get a sock, I get a sock. Okay. you get a sock you get a sock you get a sock everybody gets a sock <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so this here is a little bit of leftover nitpicks dishy that i had on hand and that was a little bit the very last bit of it and then i had some uh nitpicks dishy in the colorway ash so i went ahead and just added the that to the end and that is the only dishcloth that i did for the month but i do like i said i do love dishy's um cotton it's very soft and pliable and it's not as as thick 
as the lily and cream and the, because you know cotton knitting when cotton can be drying to your hands but I find that I can work with this pretty pretty well okay Jordan Alexis socks down the socks are weapons oh, okay Something <laughs> that was not on my list to knit last time, last episode, was a messy bun hat. Messy bun. Messy bun. Messy and bun. you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a post of this hat. I have always, mm -mm, mm -mm. I have always wanted to knit a messy bun hat. See, we do need these. I've always wanted to knit a messy bun hat. Let's see if this will focus on the hat. There we go. And it's got an opening in the top for your bun because I, I'll, I generally wear my hair up um, during this during the winter time or generally just any time that I am that I'm out and about. So anyway, this pattern is by. Um, let me make sure I see if I pronounce her name right. Uh, Isla. It's uh, is Isella. I'm sorry, Phelps. And I have listed. I'll list her pattern down at the bottom for you. It is a very quick pattern. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. So I encourage you guys if you wear your hair up like I do all the time. Sometimes, and this is my hair is straightened this time, but usually when it's in its natural state, it's a big little puff. And so I can not. I cannot wear. Uh, hats and sometimes you just need something to cover your ears, right? So I wore headphones. this last week. Hmm? Headphones will cover your ears. Head, it doesn't work. Head, headphones will cover your ears, but we're talking about winter, no, winter no. wear. Earmuffs? No, not earmuffs. Earmuffs count. Earmuffs count. Jordan has too much hair. <coughs> you have too much hair. So he's coming out with a hat. But, but, but anyway, I loved it. I will insert a picture of, of me You're wearing it um, so that you guys can see the, the fit. And like I said, just follow the pattern. Super easy. Um, and if and it's very, it's a, and I've actually had a couple of friends have asked me to knit these for them. So they are somewhat still popular um, for sure. And like I said, I have a fairly large head. So I actually had to, yeah, I do. Yeah. So I actually had to knit a few more rounds um, on this hat in order to give it the length that I needed. But other than that, I pretty much followed the pattern. So yes, guys, get you. And this is knitted in, um, it's a bulky weight yarn. So it took me about uh, two hours to knit this total because this is a uh, Lion Brand uh, Wool Ease Quick and Thick. It's just 100% acrylic uh, yarn. And I have a bunch of it back here in the back. So I've got several uh, skeins that I can use to make up several more of these. But yeah, very quick knit. And I think you guys would really enjoy knitting this. So um, how are you going to give this stuff to the people after you knit it for them? How I'm going to go. Um, I'm just going to say I'm going to drive to their house and, and say, here you go. This is what you asked for. I hope you like it. Okay. Right. Acrylic paint. Hmm? She's not speaking. Is that English. acrylic? What? Acrylic. Acrylic yarn. Oh, there's also acrylic paint. There, there is acrylic. There is acrylic, there acrylic, is acrylic paint. paint. I don't know where you got that from. Uh, but. Got from something. <laughs> it's just from video. It's just random randomness right now. Random. And I, I have no control over this podcast. <laughs> so, with that being said, I started another hat. I have not finished it. It is um, the same pattern and it's interesting because in this particular, <laughs> with this particular yarn, let's see if it'll focus on the yarn. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. This, <laughs> oh stop. <laughs> this is another line brand, uh, thick and quick uh, yarn. I don't have the ball band anymore, so I don't even know what the colorway is on this. Um, it's something that Jordan, it's something what? that, <laughs> I'm, I guys, I'm sorry. I just, I don't even know what to say right now. This is a silly podcast. It's a silly, a silly podcast. podcast. 
So anyway, so yes, yeah, so this is the newest one and this one is going to be mine as well. And then I'm going to try to knit some friends uh, some as well. So anyway, like I said, go out, check out that pattern, Messy Bun 2 on Ravelry. It is a free pattern. Okay, so that was not something that I w was looking to knit, but I was scrolling through and I saw it and I thought, yep, I got to have that. So mm -hmm. got to have it. Now, also... That was something that was not on my list is was this pumpkin. pumpkin it's a beautiful glittery white pumpkin it is let me see if I can show you the glitter because I don't know if it's gonna show up okay so you're not gonna be able to see the the glitter in it but, but there is glitter there yes Lexi <laughs> you're right there is glitter so anyway so this is a quick pumpkin it's getting blown out by the light so maybe I'll put it back here this that is doesn't a make it, better. it doesn't make it better I don't know why it is, but it is. But anyway, I'm trying to think if I put it behind something, will it make it any better? Whoa. Yeah, anyway, I'm sorry guys. I, I think I'm new new to this particular room because this is my new craft room. So I'm trying to figure out what the lighting should be. And these two back here is just, they're just, they're having their own podcast. <laughs> it's not my podcast, it's their own podcast. So anyway. If it's our podcast, we are supposed to be talking. But, but, you, point. but you are talking. <laughs> no, we're whispering. You you but you're talking. We're whispering whispering through socks. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is a pattern by see I'm all I got y'all they have me all like discombobulated. Uh Fit Food Art Shop by Stacy Lickfeld on um Ravelry. This is a paid pattern and she has a bunch of pumpkins. So if you guys are wanting to add pumpkins to your fall decor for next year, or if you still have fall decor out. Seriously? Okay, so, so you know, when you have little ones, you give them the talk before you start anything, before they get out of the car <laughs> in the grocery store, before they get out the car to go to someone's house. You have to talk about how to behave, right? You know, don't do this. You need to make sure blah, 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 blah. I had that talk. I did before we started this podcast. You mothers know, and even if as they go get older, you still have to sometimes have the talk. Anyway, this one here is just on a whole nother level today. <laughs> and... I'm on level 15.9. You're on level 15.9. So anyway, stop it. Okay, so that was an unexpected uh, finished object, which I finished. Alexis okay. and Jordan. Mm. I'm just gonna sit here until we until we um, learn to behave. Compose ourselves. Are we gonna behave? Yes. Are we gonna behave? Why are you looking at are me? Are we going to behave? <laughs> Why are you looking at are me? Are we going to behave? <laughs> yes. So. Exactly. Anyway. So, any, so I think that's all the finished objects that I had. So we are going to move on to whips. So I had a beautiful viewer that sent me this gorgeous bag um, in a bag swap that we had um, last year. And I got to tell you, I don't know why. Still, still trying to focus on it. There we go. It is one of my favorite bags. Halloween is technically over right now, but like I said, I don't know what's the what's the deal. Halloween is technically over, but until I finish my Halloween socks, I'm going to keep them in there. Okay, what do you want to say? Happy November the first. <laughs> the randomness is real. It stinks. It's it's real. It is Thanksgiving month. So anyway, with that being said, guys, look at my socks. I'm going to stand up for this. I'm going to block my kids. Oh. Let's see. So I call myself, I call myself making a pattern of, um, what did I do? Knit three, purl one across. But this yarn, you really can't see the pattern until you put it on your feet. So I'm just going to continue with that, even though it technically does not show up a whole lot. 
but this bottom is the perfect perfect purple that I found so the purple is a heritage yarn um, that I got from a local um, yarn shop and then of course this colorway is hypnotic yarns a uh, Halloween themed uh, colorway in the color seance and seance. I absolutely am loving this sock and color and of course you guys know I knit my socks two at a time always and this always. is on always. Oh, you do? I do. Yeah. And this is on a uh, US 1 2.25 uh, millimeter and a 64 stitch count. And I will probably do the Flegel heel on this one. I may opt for an afterthought After heel. Yeah, see? Impressive. I might opt for an afterthought heel. I have not made my mind up yet on these. But anyway, so those are my Halloween socks. They will be my first Halloween socks, so um, I need to get on top of that because I would like to. Um, I would like to have more than one pair, and I got to tell you, so these are living in my yarn socks. Um, they hold my skein of yarn, and I got these from DFW Fiber Fest, and I love these because they hug the skeins very well. And I got two of them, <clears throat> and I actually need to order some more of these because, like I said, I love them because they really do hug the, the cake, yeah. and they keep your um, your cake together. So, yeah. So, that is that. Mm. And then, let's see. So, I have not... So, that is... So, I'm working on the, the Messy Bun. I'm working on my Halloween socks. Now, I do have some projects in queue. Um, Picks. I Picks. So I, I come up with that? Yeah, you came up with that, Projects and Q. Yeah. Back when it's you my, were young and... It's my invention. Yeah. Picks. Picks. So I've wound up the cakes. This one is by... Mitchell's... Creations. Creations. It is in her colorway. All is calm, all is bright. So it is a Christmas colorway. Probably it is not your traditional colorway but it is going to be gorgeous and so I just need to separate for the two at a time on these and so yeah I'm excited about that and then the other yarn that I caked up was by two guys um two guys what is it yeah two guys yarn yarn company and this is in their tweed fog advisory tweed and I also, anyway, so this is going to be their daddy's socks. I love the bits of tweed in it. I think it's going to be so nice. Um, their dad wears a size uh, 14 shoe. So I think I'm going to have to add some contrasting uh, heels, toes, and cuffs in order to maximize the yeah. amount of uh, sock that I can get out of here. It's kind of gray with my, with my gray. How about my gray? How about your gray? No, no. So anyway, so those are the two whips that I am, well, not whips, the two picks, picks projects and cues that I have. So those are going to be next. And I kind of, I'm kind of jonesing to knit a, sh a shawl, Another. a shawl or a poncho or something. Poncho. I've seen those, those wraps that have the, that they just the, the wraps that have the pockets. So that would be awesome to have that just to kind of wrap around me when you know I'm getting a little cool and I just love the look of that I saw one on uh, one of my Facebook groups and it's a knitted one usually I see a lot of crocheted ones but I saw a knitted one how about you just like take a picture post this on Instagram people can see the glue they're better I, I did already but thanks for the suggestion mm -hmm. um, what happened to the I want that <laughs> okay. I haven't let that go <laughs> so the I want I, the, I want that wrap pattern that that was like two Ancient. or three years ago I, <laughs> I actually pulled it off the needles and i rewound the yarn that one's a, a scrap and it's funny oh. that you would it was, it's funny that you would mention that today when i just literally because i've been trying to kind of uh uh get oh, my get my um craft room organized 
and making sure that all of my knitting supplies are together, all of my quilting supplies are together, all of my sewing supplies are together. So I went through and, and projects that I wasn't going to finish, I pulled them off the needles, I wound everything back up, I put all of my needles back where they belong so that I could have, because I have a, I have an interchangeable um, uh, Addy, no these are, what are these? Needles. No, hold on. Oh. I have these Addy Click interchangeables and I actually love them quite a bit um, because they come with a size 16 cord. Um, so my needles in this set were kind of literally all over the place. So I had to go through and find projects that I was not wa working on to make sure that I got them all back. So that was one of the projects that was just hanging out with some of these needles. Um, like I said in the last episode, I do want to get the Chow Goo interchangeable ones. Chow Goo. Yes. The reason why, I, now I, I, I really love these. I love the way that the, the cord, cord uh, connects to the needles on this particular set. But I feel like if you don't use these needles often, they, seem, they tend to tarnish. So I literally have to tarnish. tarnish. Say tarnish. <laughs> okay, I'm country. Tarnish. 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 I have to take a polishing cloth and polish these up to where they're back shiny and um, and slick. It's very interesting and I think I have a chemical reaction to these needles, but they are great needles. It's just that I have to have a little bit of maintenance when using these. So anyway, so I, I, I do recommend these. Um, like I said, this is my first interchangeable set. I don't know where my, they go from size four to 11. Um, and they come with, I believe, five cords starting with a size 16. Um, so, and you also have an, an adaption, an adapter needle here to make the cords longer. So anyway, yeah, I recommend them. I just uh, want to use to ch try the child goose because I love their needles in general. I've seen that before, but they are all rainbow the same size. Rainbow? Yeah. These needles in here are... They weren't the different size, they were all the same size and that they were a different color rainbow. You didn't see them in my house. No, I, I see them somewhere. I don't remember that place. Oh, you saw them in uh, maybe a yarn store or something. Yeah. Yes, probably. probably. Well, yeah. Okay. Random bits of knowledge. Random bits of knowledge. So anyway, so that takes care of my projects in queue. So now I only have one um acquisition yes jordan one acquisition so i went on instagram and i have been wanting to get some faux fur pom-poms because um, i want to, i want to knit some hats uh, coming up because I, I know that winter is is quickly upon us but even here in texas we do have a few days where we do have cold snaps like we did last week um, where hats do come in handy <laughs> So anyway, so you guys gave me fabulous uh, recommendations. And if you want to go to that particular thread on Instagram right. to see all of the different uh, makers that, that all of uh, you guys subscribe, not su suggested to me, that would be awesome. I went ahead and was uh, went with FF Fabu. FFF. FF Fabu Knits. Um, she came up a couple of times in the uh, suggestions. And so I ordered uh, three pom poms from her. And let me tell you, she was a very fast shipper. She's on Etsy. I'll leave her information below. But I got um, these three. I'm going to fluff them out for you so you can see. I want to show. You want to show? So this is the first pom pom. As you guys can see, it's nice and full, and it's something that, um, the color that I picked. And then the next one is, I wanted something that was kind of a white and silver with a little bit of gray in it. And that is this one. And I love it because it's got lots of movement. And then I got one that's, I think, a rabbit one. I can't remember what, what it's called. But anyway, isn't that cute? And then she threw in a little mini one for me, which I thought was absolutely adorable. Look at that. So with that being said, this one will probably go on Alexis's hat somewhere. 
So anyway, so I highly recommend, okay, guys, you can show your faces now. So I highly recommend this, uh, this maker. So if you need some pom-poms, check her out. Um, I will probably also check out some of the other uh, uh, suggestions too, just because I like a, a, a lot of variety and everybody does a few things differently. So <laughs> you wanna get that focused, Alexis. Drop it, drop it down again, and then put it back in front of your face. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Great. All right. So I think that that is all that I had, Jordan and Alexis. We've seen the pumpkin. We've seen the pumpkin. Okay. I'm exhausted. Absolutely I'm not. <laughs> exhausted. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure you guys are not. Okay. So this episode is over. Um, highly unlikely that she'll be bio. back anytime soon. Like I say, every time she's on here. Can we do the biography or whatever? The what? The what? <laughs> Can we do the what? Like, biography? The, wait, what? What? The thing where we're done, we like, you don't come again. We just, um... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you mean you mean our 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 exit, our, our outro? outro? Yeah. And, okay. Can we do that? Sure. Go ahead and lead it on. Lead it. Like what? Go ahead and say what you want to say. Do we have an outro? <laughs> say what I want to say. Outro. Say what you want to say. And um, we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. Silent again. I'm never tired. Yay. Okay. So anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out with this hodgepodge of a Hodge podcast. Hodge. We appreciate you. And Hodge don't forget, Hodge. enter those items into the giveaway, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.